What's going on, y'all? It's G Money, and today is moving day as we are in Point Blanche moving the jet bridges. Yes, 30 tons of jet bridge gotta make its way from the harbor, Point Blanche, all the way to the Princess. So follow us as we take the trip down to the Princess. All right, so as you can see, they're slowly but surely making their way out of the gate. They gotta take their time, watch the bumps in the road, because this is 30 tons, like I said, and it sways a little, so they gotta go very, very slow and take their time. They got a police escort in the front, police escort in the back, and uh, this is a very tedious job, and you can't be, no mistakes. y'all we made it safe and sound phase one complete from the harbor to the airport now we're going to take this to gate two to get it offloaded so let's see how this goes now so far so good Okay, y'all, some odd weeks later, and we're back there at the Princess. As you can see behind me, the final jet bridge is going up. So, we transported the bridges from the harbor to the airport, and I am here with my good friend, Mr. Claude Peterson. How you doing? Good, G-Money, welcome back. So we're here back at the airport, and of course, we got the final piece to the puzzle going up. Before we get into this, what exactly is your job here at the Princess? Um, I'm a senior project coordinator with the PMU. That stands for the Project Management Unit, mm -hmm. and um, that's the, the body that was uh, set up to oversee the reconstruction project. Oh, okay. So we are basically the interface between um, the live operation from the airport mm -hmm. and the reconstruction project. You said a key word there, coordinate. Yeah. You've got to coordinate. Uh -huh. Most people don't coordinate. See, so you got to oh, coordinate. Yes. Yeah. How difficult was it to coordinate with the police and the road, the traffic to bring yeah. this big <laughs> jet bridge all the way from yeah. the harbor here to the airport. Well, it was definitely uh, months of pre-planning from the ordering of the bridges. Um, and then once we started to get closer within the last three months before the bridges arrived, mm -hmm. then we started to deal with the logistics locally. Mm -hmm. um, I must say that, that uh, everything went pretty well. Very smooth. Very smooth. Um, we got great cooperation from the, the police mm -hmm. um, and uh, the Sear Express, which mm -hmm. was the local logistics company that did, did the delivery on behalf of, of the, the supplier. Mm -hmm. They did an excellent job. And the PGIA team, which not only consisted of the PMU, mm -hmm. me as the lead on, on the project, but also um, the security department, operations department, mm -hmm. The, the fire and rescue department and everyone in general. So it was a total team effort and it went it went quite well. A lot better than we even expected. I think actually, if I'm not mistaken, you guys like you cut two days off. It's yes. like a, you yes. made it actually two days yes. less. Yes. So they had this video going around, of yeah. course, on WhatsApp with all these pieces yeah. from rotundas to jet bridges yeah. that were at the harbor and everybody yeah. was like, how many pieces in total? How big was this package? It was um, well, basically, uh, you're talking about four fixed bridges, four columns, four rotundas, and the four PBBs and the four wheel boogies. All so right. it's quite a quite a lot of pieces. Right. So where pieces. 
do you go look for jet bridges? Do you go to eBay? Do you go to Amazon? Like, how do you find jet yeah. bridges for, for an airport? How do you do this? Well, basically, um, of course, on, on such a large scale project, there was a, a bidding process mm -hmm. that was uh, organized by the, the PMU with the assistance of the supervisory mm -hmm. engineer. And uh, basically, the companies that in the world that make jet bridges, uh, they bid, bid on, on it. Oh, man, somebody got their bid right on the nose. Um, you know, I don't think there's a hundred companies in the world, but there's probably, you know, uh, probably 10, 10 or 15 companies in the world that make, make jet bridges. Mm -hmm. And this, this case, it's the company CIMC Tianda. Mm -hmm. um, CIMC, many may have noticed those, uh, those letters. Because yes. they also make containers. Oh, okay. Um, so it's the same company that also now makes jet bridges as well. As we watch the final piece of the puzzle going up, when you build things, not everything sometimes goes as planned. Have you guys ran into any challenges? Well, we ha we had some challenges with the fixed tunnels, mm -hmm. um, but uh, those those didn't throw off the timeline. Mm -hmm. But it, it it shifted the way the the process of of putting them up. So basically, so, you're, you're, you're still on schedule, actually, yes, or we're, ahead of schedule. We're, we're not ahead of schedule, uh -huh. but we're definitely on schedule. Okay. We're definitely right. on schedule. So what you're seeing in the background now is they're actually lifting the, the PBB, which stands for the Passenger Board Bridge. Mm -hmm. And this is the part that connects to the rotunda. Mm -hmm. And this is the part that, that goes to the plane. Mm. So this is the part that when you come off the plane, that's that's the, the first piece you, you come onto. Okay. So now something that you guys have done also different is that these jet bridges, once they go back into the, 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 the departure hall or the arrival, when you come off the plane, you guys have now also added um, escalators? In yes, it? yes. That's one of the major changes at the airport. Um, each jet bridge now is going to have an elevator, uh, escalator, and of course the, the, the regular stairs. Um, so, uh, you know, you have access to, to be able to go down on the escalator. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's another project that is ongoing. Uh, some of the escalators are already in place mm -hmm. uh, on the, the ballast uh, site. Mm -hmm. And then there's some more escalators that are going to be going in pretty soon. Okay. Now, when it comes to raising these jet bridges, time frame wise, about how long does it take yeah. Let's say this piece to get up the plane. What's the time frame? The fixed tunnels, um, we did uh, two in one night. Mm -hmm. Two in one night, and then the two rotundas in, in the same night. Okay. Um, then, of course, there's a lot of, uh, you know, putting the, the staircase in place. Mm -hmm. um, and there's some other small parts that, that we did that same night. Um, all in all, uh, if you look time frame wise, lifting the big parts, mm -hmm. we're looking at about a week. Okay. Yeah. About a week. A week. About a week. Tops. So now, once these uh, jet bridges are up, you guys still have a lot more work to do, like inside. Yeah, there's actually more work. The, the lifting is actually the shortest part of the process. Oh, really? Um, the longer part is dealing with all of the small mechanical and electrical parts. Mm -hmm. So the, the entire wiring, the jet bridge has to be wired. Mm -hmm. Um, there's transformers that have to be put in place mm -hmm. to be able to power up the jet bridge. Mm -hmm. um, there's cameras that need to be installed. There's sensors that need to be installed. Mm -hmm. um, so there's a there's a lot of small small detailed work that that takes takes more time than actually. When it lifting. comes to operating these, mm -hmm. is it the same as the old ones, or they have to take all new classes, a whole new technology? Well, it's 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 very similar to the old ones. Mm -hmm. However, you know, being a new supplier. Um, the, the PGIA operations team, um, they're going to get training on, okay. on how to operate um, the, the new bridges and that's part of the, the package from the, the supplier as well. So okay. and we're also going to have our electrical and mechanical department mm -hmm. that's also going to get training mm -hmm. on the, the spare parts, you know, because there's a whole spare parts package mm -hmm. um, to be able to service and maintain the, the jet bridges. Wow. Yeah. This is like really amazing to see yeah. uh, us traveling all the way from the, from the harbor yeah. to come yeah. here and now to finally see them yeah. up and see running them. and see it, them up. It, yeah, it, it um, looks good. It looks one good. of the things I can mention also, Dimoni, is uh, one of the, the changes now with mm -hmm. these jet bridges is off of the, the, the PBB, mm -hmm. you're going to have a chute, a luggage chute. 
So, for instance, you you co you come in, it's right there. Right there. It's so, right there. So you you come in and uh -huh. you get past with your carry on, yeah. and then the flight attendant says, "No, you can't bring it on the plane." The shoot we didn't have the luggage chute, so the, the airlines had to walk I mean, down with it. Are you physically going to take my bag and put it beneath the plane? Are you going to go right now outside with the guys with the earmuffs and go put it in there? No. So now that's uh, I know the airlines are very happy about that because oh. it's gonna it's gonna definitely speed up speed, speed up. up the yeah, process. Yeah, yeah, the old way was yeah. very very yeah. time consuming. Yeah. yeah. Well, Mr. Peterson, this is this is wonderful. You've been like so so informative. You've given us a whole lot of insights and of course um, from the making to the bringing, like so, so much stuff that we can't go through everything because it's a lot of information. But he's guy is really really informative and i appreciate it man very good and you guys are doing a really much. great job hopefully we can see you later on in some future episodes definitely all right the uh, work continues oh yeah it doesn't stop yeah it's g money here with uh, restoring a princess hey hit that thumbs up uh, hit the like button check out past episodes and restoring a princess